Hey guys, in today's video, let's look at how we can delete lots of rows super fast in Excel. Uh, if you've got anything more than 10,000 rows to delete, you'll know that looping uh, over them one by one uh, is going to be super inefficient because each delete action takes a significant amount of time and that adds up when you have more than 10,000 rows to delete. So in this worksheet, I'm maxing out Excel's number of rows. So we have more than a million rows and uh, they alternate between delete and don't delete. So I want to keep the rows that are marked don't delete but delete the rows that are marked delete. So that works out to roughly around 500,000 uh, plus rows that I want to delete. So an uh, even more efficient way to delete the rows would be to just perform one delete action and to do that we will first filter for the values that we want to keep, in this case marked as don't delete. And then we'll copy them into a new worksheet. After that, we'll delete the old worksheet and uh, rename the new worksheet back to the name of the old worksheet. So let's get down to our code. Okay, so first let's get our stuff out. I'll call it delete rows fast and uh, let's get a timer time start equals to timer and now I'll do some declarations so dim so WSO this will be our old worksheet as worksheet and uh, new ws new as worksheet and we'll need the name of our worksheet we'll call this uh, ws name as string and and then arrange to save uh, our our data so we'll, we can call this uh, maybe we can call this rs range okay so then let's set our WS name will be our WSO dot name. So this variable will store the name of our old worksheet. And uh, we will set our uh, the range of uh, data, the, num the rows that we want to store. So it will be the equals to ws old dot range and uh, in this case I'll pass in a1 to a104876 and let me just check that again yeah that's right okay go ahead and save and let's get back to the code. Okay, so we have gotten some, we've declared our variables, we've stored the old name of the worksheet and set the range that we want to uh, filter. So let's turn screen updating false application dot screen updating equals to false. Okay, and then now let's set our new worksheet. So set WS new will be we'll add a new worksheet sheets dot add and we'll add this after our old worksheet so after then colon equals our old worksheet WS old so this creates a new worksheet and then now let's copy the range of our filtered uh, criteria to the uh, new worksheet. So with R, then let's close out our with and with. What do we want to do? We want to filter and then copy. So to filter, so with R, we want to dot auto filter 
and then our field will be 1 so our, we want to filter the first field and then our criteria so criteria okay our criteria we will pass or rather criteria 1 we will specify it as don't delete so this will filter the don't delete values and what we want to do is we want to ws.old then we will sorry ws old dot used range dot copy okay so this copies our our don't delete uh, rows and then now we want to paste all the visible data uh, from that we copied from our old worksheet into our new worksheet so to do that let's um, with ws new and then dot range what we want to do is we want to take ws dot old dot sorry ws old dot used range dot cells one dot address okay then let's close out our width so what we want to do is we want to paste dot paste special and then we will paste uh, excel paste column column width and we also want to paste excel dot paste special then we want to excel paste all Okay, and lastly, we will ws new dot cells dot select, and then ws new cells. Okay, so this will go go ahead and paste uh, our the values that we want to keep into the new worksheet. And the last thing we need to do is we need to delete our old worksheet. So we can do that by with application. You can end with, and then once we have that, let's do dot cut copy mode equals to false. And then our display alerts equals to false. And then let's do ws old dot delete. Okay, so this is the worksheet. Then we can put back our display alerts equals to true. And uh, we can turn on our screen updating that we turned off earlier. Okay, so now this will delete the old worksheet. Uh, one final step is we need to set the name of our worksheet, our new worksheet, back to the name of the old worksheet. So, so we'll set ws new dot name will be ws name. Okay, we're done with our code. Let's put back our timer. So time n will be equals to timer. So this is when we're going to stop our code and um, finally we're going to debug.print this the time.print deleting rows took and we'll do a concatenation 
So we convert the time to a string. So time end minus time start. And let's do a uh, sorry, we don't need the parenthesis here. So yeah, and let's do a seconds. Okay, looks good. So let's let me run through the code again. Uh, we will start a timer. We'll declare variables for our old worksheet, a new worksheet the name of the old worksheet, and then uh, the range that we're going to filter. We'll set the uh, ws name to be wso.name. Uh, oh, I did miss a step here. So we will need to set our old worksheet name. So, right, so we will set ws old will be equals to this workbook so this workbook dot sheets and uh, sheet one yeah so that was missing so we need to set the our old workbook uh, to ws old then ws name will start at sheet name uh, we'll set the range so in this case the entire worksheet so from row 1 to row 1 million will be set to the R. We turn, on, we turn off screen updating here and then we uh, create a new worksheet. We filter out the values that we want to copy. We paste them to the new worksheet. Then we delete the old worksheet, rename the new worksheet, and then we stop our timer. So let's see how long this code takes. Save and let's run this. Okay, it's taking a bit of time, but it's going to be a lot faster than than uh, to, to delete this via loop. Okay, so you can see here that deleting the rows took fourteen seconds or 15 seconds if we were to round it up let's just check out the values that all of them got deleted okay so you can see here yep all our values that we marked as delete got deleted uh, and we're left with all the don't delete values so it took only 15 seconds to delete uh, over 500,000 rows from uh, a worksheet that contained over a million rows. That's not too bad. It's a lot faster than looping and uh, I hope you found this video useful. If you've got any other questions or comments, uh, please do drop them down in the uh, comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video soon. Bye bye.